Good afternoon, here is another camera, another Hike Vision. This is the DS2CE 56D7T VPIT. This is the 3.6mm lens. It does come in a variety of different options. It has the, um, let's just check in here, just reading the spec. Um, yeah, it's got the 3.6mm or the 6mm options. So the viewing angles on the 3.6 is 82 degrees and on the 6mm is 54 degrees. Yeah, it, does, it does come with IR with 20 odd meters and it is IP66 rated. Very good at night. I have witnessed this in action and uh, it's a little gem action. The box is inside here. As cameras go, they're very neat. It has battle resistant screws. It's got BNC and it's got a power, 12 volt power in, in the box. It also comes in the instructions, the user guide, the anti tamper some screws, and a template which is in the bottom of the box. As you can see from this camera, it has two infrareds, one either side, and it also comes with, I'm just going to say it's right, XIR technology, and that's the little, the magic stuff here and there. There you go, I'm going to plug it in, and we should see it on our screen. Bear with me two seconds. Here we go again. Here we are again. Just gonna plug this camera in. Let's show you the menu structure. It's very simple, BNC, 12 volts, tight, that's good. Straight away, straight on the screen. So going into the common menu, camera, draw my code as we just, very simple code for this demonstration. Camera, on the screen display, here you go, you can change your camera name, your ID, obviously display the name, display the week, format, all sorts of things here. Very standard stuff here, you can do all the brightness, contrast settings. Never really had to mess around with that before because default seems to be just fine. PTZ, not PTZ, it's a fixed camera. And here we go to motion. First thing you want to do, make sure it's in turn, enable this setting. Get the screen, which is already cleared, and you can draw a line over there. Now that area here. As you can see, all those picking up motion. Yeah, very sensitive. Turn the sensitivity down a little bit. Apply it. It's still there. Very good, very easy. Clear the lot. This is where you can set up your alarm linkage back to your phone. Here you'd have to do, tick the notify surveillance center and you'd have to do it through your hike vision app on your phone or wherever you wanted to to, to enable the alarm. Go back, oops, too far. To motion we've done, privacy mask, very easy. Draw a square, apply it. Didn't enable it. See, that square will always be on there. Good for when you've got neighbours or you're overlooking, don't, don't want to hide a window. 
bit of work, a computer, a keyboard, so now we can see your passwords, that kind of thing. Let's clear this, let's clear it all, apply, and it's gone. Video tampering, again, you want to send an alarm, and the same video loss, that's all these other little ones as well. Intrusion detection, it's like crossing the line sort of thing. It's nice to move within the camera, enable it, set it so you, you'll, you'll get a notification on your phone, your iPad, with your smart device. So that's basically it for this camera. Very good, very cost effective little unit and well built. Goodbye from CCTV Serve.